how good is this though? How perfect is this sailing? It's like flat calm seas, full sails up. You happy with that skipper? Champagne sailing. Very rare, but this is it. This so is what it looks like. This is what it feels like. Put it in the logbook. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is perfection. Utter, utter perfection. So our time in van has come to an end. Coming to an end, we've got to do some shopping. That's right, we have a couple more hours. Uh, van has been an extraordinary place. I think that this is going to go down as top three. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, we've loved it here. We're in a prime position right next to the bar, right near town. Get your priorities right this race. I know. And town itself is just gorgeous. Beautiful medieval town. It's just been an absolute joy to be here. And frankly, we probably stay here for a lot longer, but we have to start heading uh, back towards the UK. So today, uh, this morning, we're going to go for a quick shop. We've yep. run out of groceries and we're going to go and have a little coffee and croissant, I think. We are. And then, because uh, we've got a little bit of time before we can get out of here, we can only get out at high water. So I don't think we'll be leaving till midday. And then we're going to head out to the islands. So we've got a big day ahead of us. I have nothing to say. Nothing to add. You succinct. Nick, succinct Nick. to the point. <laughs> Nick needs his second coffee. Yeah, Nick does need a second coffee. <laughs> All right, let's go. Van is a bustling medieval town situated in the heart of the Morbihan, an inland waterway with over 300 islands. A sailing paradise on a good day, but we found it to be rather challenging on our way in, although that may have been human error. It is ripping through here. It is absolutely ripping through. What's up? I don't know where I'm going. I don't think that we should go in there. I want to say for the record, I think this is a bad idea. She's not completely enjoyable. No, I know. I'm quite stressed out. I'm pretty sure we're not moving. Look, look at that transit. Yeah, we're not moving. We're not moving. Like it's slack, it was slack there 40 minutes ago, but it's still on the ebb here. So I think that there's a lag. I don't know. I don't understand. Probably we should have, <laughs> we should have bought like a large scale chart before we came in here and checked all the tides out, but we didn't. Oh, after five days exploring the charming town and getting our fix of city life, it was time to head back to the islands. And this time we're hoping for a smoother sail through the Morbihan and back out to the Atlantic. All right, let's have a look at the weather. So we are heading to this island, little hat. And tonight, the weather's gonna be lovely today. And then tonight, we're gonna get a bit more north in the wind, but then it's gonna go back to the west. So that's good because our anchorage will only be protected if the wind stays in that direction. And then it clears up towards the end of the week. And what we're waiting for are these uh, easterlies, northeasterlies, I guess, because we want to get around that point there and as you can see we're here that's kind of tough with the prevailing winds from the northwest so we have to wait for a little bit more either north or east in the wind just like that but every afternoon the winds feel back in from the west and then overnight they come from the east so yeah it's a bit of a dilemma we'll have to wait and see how the forecast firms up so we've got high water at quarter past one. So we're gonna leave here at quarter past one, pretty much, so that we can get the flood, uh, get the ebb all the way down to the mouth of the Morbion and then head to our anchorage. How's the windlass? It's fine, I think it, I think it's working fine. If it doesn't work under load, it either means that the, all, the battery's running, it's erroring because we're not running the engine hard enough. Because mm. it does take a lot of power out of the batteries. I don't know. I don't think it's. I don't think it's a problem with the windlass. No, I think that's it's a problem with the battery sure. production. Um, 
but I'll just have a look at the controls on here. Surface rust. Alright. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's just surface rust. I think probably though, I'll get an angle grinder to that later. Oh, okay, and just take the, take the link away. Yeah. Take the link away. Yeah. So you're happy with the anchor now? Yeah, happy, or the anchor, happy, with, rather. happy with that, yeah. Goodbye, Van. I'm really sad to be leaving. One day we're definitely going to return. This whole cruising area is just way too good to, uh, to only do once. Merci! Wonderful time, thank you. Anyone who says the French aren't friendly, they don't know what they're talking about. The French are so friendly. That was just the, I don't know what you call them in French, but he, he works for the, um, the marina and he comes out in the rib and he directs everyone to their, their places. He came out and um, met us when we came in a few days ago. Summer in France, eh? I know, it's beautiful. And this is actually the first day of the French school holidays. So they're just coming into their summer holidays as of, well, today. So I reckon, yeah, activity on the water is going to be... High on the list. Yep. Just need that wind to come around, like three degrees. Just a little bit too much on the nose to uh, get that jib full. The main's okay, but the jib just, uh, yeah, we're just a little bit too hard on the wind for the jib. We may, I think, we may need to pull that jib in. Yeah. I don't know, actually we could be all right. It's still a chill, isn't it, when you come off the... Yeah, I know, that's why I needed a break. Have you got crap all over that, or is it just something underneath that's kind of spotty in colour? Grot. Are you trying to tell me <laughs> that grot. I... that there would be grot on my t-shirt? <laughs> grot, okay. You <laughs> are in no position to talk about grot. Living on a boat, mate. <laughs> Living on a boat. You can always tell a sailor, they never have anything white. People I, that wear white clothes I don't live on boats. Well, I wear white clothes. No, you don't. You wear grey clothes. They probably started off as white, but between bits of oil, bits of bilge pump, bits of pasta sauce, bits of evening beer, little peanut crumbs. But this is why I bought an apron. Or well, I asked you to buy me an apron for my birthday. And how many miniature chocolate flakes are now scattered all over our duvet? Okay, so I went to bed last <laughs> 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 I went to bed last night early because <laughs> um with a big chocolate bar. I fancied some chocolate, but I didn't want to get up, so I thought I'll be really careful and I, I'll just yeah have a little bit of chocolate in bed. And then I woke up this morning and I went to make the bed, and yeah, sure enough, look like you the bed on my pillow. <laughs> if it gets explosive, both. <laughs> if it gets explosive, it can hit the pillow. That's disgusting <laughs> and very incorrect. Anyway, point being is it yeah, the, the chocolate situation. I, I, I need to wash the pillowcases now. Do we have to go back to England? No, you live here if you want. Genuinely. Genuinely, if you say to me I want to go and live in the Valais, we'll turn the boat and go back to the Valais. Don't tempt me. Well, yeah, there's always temptation, there's always choice in life. There's a thing, this is what I've been going on about for years. Most people are constrained by, you know, Choices that are made for them. Mortgages, kids, health, money. We don't have any of those and it's a strange sensation. And still after six years, it doesn't, doesn't sit well with me. You know, completely being emancipated of your shackles of mental slavery. Wow. It's Bob Marley, babe. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, where'd that come from? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Nesta. 
And here we got some wind over top. Why are we doing five knots those trees? We got time on our side. We're in a state of home. You happy with that, Skipper? Champagne sailing. Every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find. Very rare, but this is it. This is what it looks like. This is what it feels like. Put it in the logbook. Makes it over five. Got this place. Sailing in perfect conditions. We have, let's just do some readings. We've got 11, 12 knots apparent, 50 degrees, uh, a new set of uh, laminates. We are doing 6.6 .6 knots. Yeah, that's nice. We do have some tired with this. Let's we just, got a bit of tired with this. It's just being um, honest about that. There's a lot, a lot of craft about, so we've got to be pretty, pretty uh, on, the ball. Like, on the ball with the nav and uh, a collision avoidance, but it's pretty nice out here. So yeah, so six and a half, make you laugh, as John always says. How good is this though? How perfect is this sailing? It's like flat calm seas, full sails up, bright sunshine. I know we've got some current with us, so we're making some decent speeds that uh, are partly thanks to the tide, but this is, this is perfection. Utter, utter perfection. I was only half joking earlier when I asked Nick whether we really need to go back to England. Like, you don't get days like this in England very often. I can't, we're not selling this thing. It's too good. But this boat is amazing. No? Yeah. She points at 30 degrees. She's stable as We can get into a metre of water. We sailed it. You can cross oceans in her easily. Yeah. And she's a perfect little boy. No one's getting this. Mine. It's my precious. You know what the issue is here? You know why it's so good? No swell. Yeah, I know, exactly. Completely flat calm. Look at all the boats we're overtaking. It's incredible. Like a 38, I mean, I don't know what, she's 38, but she's what, 40 foot on? She's 40 foot, right? Yeah. But she weighs 12 tons and yeah. she overtakes just about everything. Do you remember where, where, where was it? We were leaving. We're leaving Bermuda. No, but yeah, oh, Bermuda, uh, but where, what island was it? Guadeloupe or something? Um, we're going Dominican. to Guadeloupe. Uh, no, it was Martinique going to, uh, I don't know, it was one of those. Yeah, we were going between the islands and literally we overtook every boat. Yeah. She, This boat, when she's in her groove, she she's difficult to beat. But I mean, obviously if you've got like a pogo, then you'd, you'd get, you get all over. But for a heavy boat, and she's so stable. Now I love this boat, just amazing. Amazing, amazing boat. What a spectacularly gorgeous sail. Just absolutely phenomenal. Wow. I can see the anchorage that we're going to and uh, I can already see all the masts. It looks absolutely rammed and I'm not surprised in the slightest. I was thinking that it probably would be. Um, a, the anchorage is always busy. B, it's the first day of school holidays, so there's way more people out and about than usual. And uh, C, the anchorage is one of the few places in all of these islands that will be uh, protected from the weather tonight, today and tonight. Yeah, it really is the perfect anchorage for tonight, overnight and tomorrow. And uh, we're hoping to get in there. There's always room for one more, I guess. We'll find ourselves a nice little spot, settle in. Put the pendants over the side.
perfectly placed for once we actually ended up with the boat sitting in exactly the place that we kind of thought it would end up in. It's not as easy to do as it sounds, but uh, no, nah, this is ideal. Plenty of room, plenty of space for loads of other boats. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty pleased that we got in, that we got in with plenty of time this evening to get ourselves organized. That's just Nick and the kill. Is everything okay? Um, there's actually a lot of boats leaving at the moment. Presumably they came in for lunch and now they're leaving. See, this is when that wind generation just comes in, that wind generator comes into its own. Oh, and they're solar together. They're, they're oh, we're, good. We're, not, we're putting eight amps in. That's amazing. How good is this anchorage though? Oh. I'm so glad we got back here. I was, I was worried for a minute there that we might not be able to come back here. To celebrate our first night at Anchor in some time, I'm going to make us some Kier Bretons, which is Kier, which is a French drink, and uh, cider, which I think is an absolutely genius move on the uh, part of people from Brittany, the Bretons. Kier is generally wine with like a syrup a flavored syrup you can also have key royale which is like sparkling wine with syrup and we had never heard of key breton before and we tried it i don't know a couple of weeks ago and um not knowing what it was and sure enough it was cider and uh creme de cassis 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 and um it was amazing so we are gonna make our own Better? We've had to put the uh, cockpit tent on because it's really breezy and the breeze is actually quite cool and uh, it's a little bit chilly without the cockpit tent on. Alright, well your key's ready. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so do you have any thoughts about what you want to do for the rest of the week? No. No, I think tomorrow, what I do want to do is get the dinghy in the water. If it's blowing like this, there's no point in trying to put the outboard on it, it's just too, too bumpy. It's going to be blowing like this for the next three days. Is it? Yeah, it's going to be really windy. Okay. Mm. Okay, well look, either way, I think what we're going to do is, well, if, we're stay, if we could possibly be here for three days. Because actually from here, it's a good point to sail to Concarneau. No? Well, it's been an absolutely delightful day. And then the sail here was just spectacular, like one of the best sails that probably we've ever done, like it was just, you cannot get better than that. And now we're here, we're in this gorgeous anchorage, it is busy but there's loads of room for everyone, it's such a, a huge bay that uh, there's, there's space for literally everyone. But today was a good day. Yeah, today was a good day. Today was a good day, wasn't it? I had a really good day today. So I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Uh, yeah, leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Let us know if you've ever sailed around here before because uh, if you have, then I know that you'll be enjoying these episodes because, you know, this, this crazy ground is just so special. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That helps a lot. So thanks again for watching. Filming or? Yeah, just filming. No. Do you want still shot or video shot? Video and still, please. Just look straight, my love. Just, just, just do what you're doing. I'm going to make us some Kia Bretons. One part Kia, one part Bretons. I think it's a uh, fact of life around here that the second I turn the camera on and press the record button, some kind of job has to be done that very moment that includes you it's making a It's called being racket. the skipper of a boat, darling. No, it's called <laughs> you having excellent timing. There's a ball on it and it will smack against the hull all night and go clack, clack, clack. And then you'll well, get across. You know how I feel about that. Yes, exactly. You like, why, like, don't you, why don't you go out there and fix it? You don't like clack, 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 do you? Oh, no. No, it really annoys me. <laughs> <laughs> you just fall asleep and I'm there all night long listening to that noise. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just for me. This is for the bed. We're choosing here or on deck? Uh, we're going to choose on deck, but you're going to go over there again and you're going to just take it from me and then walk out the companion.
anyway. Or out the door. Your job is just to sit there and film me coming out of the companion way. Just do it. Just, are you sure that that is? Yeah, okay. perfect. <laughs> Cheers, my love. Well, this is no. rather f pleasant, isn't it? Sorry, let me do that again. Wow. I'm telling you off. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>